Okay, this is going to be the first ever um, account review. Now, I'm not going to do it like the standard way that probably most people from other gacha games or content creators do in the sense that I'm not going to log into your account. I think that's kind of sus and I don't want to make people uncomfortable. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not like quote unquote legal, so I'm not going to do that. So I did my own version which is I get people to take screenshots or record clips of their accounts and they um, send it to me in like an album or like a file, video file, and then I'll review it that way. I think it's a lot more safer. It's a lot better, but it's not like the authentic, I get to log into your account and see stuff. I know that's probably better for this kind of content, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So with that being said, this is the first ever account review that I'm going to do. Who knows if it's going to be good or not? I'm not sure. Never done one of these before, but hey, it's worth a shot, right? Apparently, some people like these in like other gacha games, so whatever, dude. I'm just going to give my opinions about it. All right. Anyways, let's get this started. Um, so this account is Kashino. It's my it's the first one requested in my Discord, and that's where I get most people to um to uh send me the stuff. So I'm going to start there. Now, first thing I see is no gems. Nice. And I see capped coins and I see capped oil. V very cool. Very cool. But I, I assume that um, this person, I think, reinstalled the game recently. Took a time off, which is fine, which is understandable, actually. So pretty good. 100 level 110. Very, very solid. Uh, Mentos, something right here. Got to deal with that. Some good mails, download your L2D stuff, and you got some building stuff as well. Gotta get rid of that. Now, ships. Um, we have a, a bunch of 120s, very nice. Um, good splits, a lot of ringed ships, a lot of skins, swimsuits, a lot of swimsuits, party skins. Good skin choices. More 120s here. Very nice. How many do I see so far? Um, let's see. 21. I think this is a 40. 40? So 40, 120s. Not bad. Going down the list. A lot of skins. A lot of skins. More skins than me. Because I'm a free-to-play player, by the way. Wait, hold up. Is that 300 dock space? Holy crap. All this money spent on skins, but no dock space. But I mean, like, 236, though, but <laughs> still. I don't, think, I don't think he keeps the uh, blue ships a lot, does he? Maybe. There's, like, no white ships, though. Uh-oh. But, hey, if you, if you want to play that way, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Not bad, though. I didn't see the gear on some of these ships, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. If, if, I, I, should make it, I should make that a thing, but I'm not going to worry about it. A lot of collab ships in here as well. Nice Peter skin. I bought that one as well. Good skin. Bull in here. Okay. I, I think that's good on ships. Now let's look at inventory. So no prints here. Uh, we have some UR prints here. Gold plates getting in the works. No cog chips. Whoa. That's a rare one. Or spends a lot on awakenings, which is understandable. Valentine's from Chaser and Azuma. Interesting choices. Not going to say anything about that. Um, Prints here. UR prints. Stuff like that. Some New Year stuff. A lot of the OS stuff's coming into play. Wow. That is like no purple plates, but that's understandable to some people who don't farm like 7-2. So definitely looks like something you would get from people who don't farm 7-2, which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, blue plates are also out. What about white plates? Okay, white, white plates aren't that bad. But blue plates are almost out. Purple plates are almost gone. Yeah. Uh, gear... I have 18 torpedoes. I think 18 is more than enough. I think I got like, what, 12 or something or 16. Um, a little bit too much, I think. But I think 8 should be is too little. I think I think 12 is okay. Maybe 10, but um, somewhere around there. 8 is not bad, though. Definitely not bad. A lot of quints. So I'm assuming this person autos a lot, and I can't blame them. Uh, that's... A lot of plus 10 quints. It's a lot, a lot of plus 10 quints right here. So, can't hate on that. 
a lot of um anti-air stuff i should you should plus 10 more of these honestly um with uh with the new updates um plus um aviation ships or like carrier ships aren't doing too bad right now they're pretty good especially the torpedo bombers so i'd say maybe a few more plus 10s but you don't have to get them i don't know what this meant i think that's pvp but i don't bother with pvp anymore nice cranes uh i don't even use the cranes anymore so no problems there uh btds i <laughs> keep them there <laughs> understandable uh i'm not sure if that plane is good or not no idea about that one a lot of plus 10 hellcats nice working on the corsair is also very nice all plus 10s too very nice i have like four or five plus 10s i need to make more but i'll worry about that another time a lot of both first at plus 10 a good anti-air choice um all this, was this i think seattle guns right here all those plus 10s very good uh 127s um they used to be good they're still good but it's just like they're they've been power creep but they're still definitely usable so nothing wrong there a lot of plus 10 washing machines sg radars i would make more but it's up to you um i can't see black shells so can't say anything about that uh roombas holy crap that's a lot of hazers jesus more we need more stags though unfortunately i'll put the stags on a battleship though this person has it on a, a seattle but their choice not mine i'll put that on a uh a battleship the holy crap seattle has two anti-air slots that's new to me wait really oh well oh wait, i used her before i don't know how i don't know this whatever dude uh six double anti-airs this is the new best in slot for regular anti-air so definitely need more of those uh 134 on ozdema eh, it's an interesting choice i would go hit but firepower is not terrible whoever does your like whatever vanguard does like the the big damages you would want this on there or if you, you want to use it on a battleship you would want to use this on a battleship and whatnot um plus 10 hood guns nice some more re uh, repus i would definitely get more reuses though if you can, if you can far more reuses reuses right now are like king i think minimum right now is like five because centaur has one shinano can use two and arc royal can use two and that's like the standard setup uh i would definitely get more of these though five minimum you can get more if you want when there's a uh, more uh more bosses or whatever setups that requires more but i doubt it though as of right now, OS content, 5 is more than enough for uh, Ryuse anti-airs. Quads, 4 is fine. If you want a manual, you can add more to it, though. I don't know about this anti-air, though. This anti-air is like, uh, and this one, too. <laughs> I would just stick the Sex Temple, though. Sex Temple is too good. The Sex Temple is like upgraded Roombas right here. Upgraded versions of these. So, definitely, if you guys have these, it's PR3, by the way. These are the new best in slots, I'd say. And then if you want to use battleships, you use bofers. And if you want to use firepower, you use this thing. Basically, these three anti-airs right there, like these three right here, I call it relevant. Everyone else is like, eh, whatever. I'm not feeling it. Um, All right. A lot of white shells. Good here. Belfast guns. These are pretty much needed for uh, what's this <laughs> for battleships, though. Can't, uh, can't blame on that one. More anti-air is here. I think quads are pretty good. I personally don't use quads, but quads homings aren't bad. Not don't sh not sure about quints though, but quads are definitely like what people use nowadays because they do more damage compared to quints. So I like that. Um, I think this FDG's guns, 3Ds, cool. Uh, one plus t uh, ten rune gun. You might want to make another one, but if you don't need it right now, you don't have to. Plus uh three snorkels, that's minimum, so that's good. Uh I should make I have this farmed up, but I haven't I haven't used it yet. It could be good, but nah. Maybe PvP is pretty good, but whatever about it. Uh two French no three French guns right here. Cool. All plus ten as well. Very nice. Uh repair toolkits, good. <laughs> you need a lot of those. I will start selling off the auto reloader, so these are crap. Gyroscopes are pretty good on Azuma. Boilers, boilers definitely. Uh, I'd say get some more of these, but it's up to you though. Some of you guys don't want to play dodging, and that's fine. Like, you don't want to play manual, so can't blame you there. Uh, anti torpedoes are pretty bad, I'd say. I don't I don't like these at all. These these auxiliaries are like, whatever. I'm, I'm not a fan of these. I would sell off, like, uh, sell off this 8 stack right here to begin with, and then. Keep the rest for now, but sell off the eight stack. I mean, you have a lot of slots anyways. You have two hundred and two left, but I would sell off, sell off those. Uh, some of these purple gear are still good, like the four uh, four zero six still best in slot for HE guns. 
Single 127s are still very, very good as well. Like this, they've been power creep, but they're still very, very good. Purple SG radars, you don't need these. Golds are better. Um, purple fire control radars can sub for gold. Uh, but definitely, if you get gold, though, a, a big upgrade. Big, big upgrade compared to the purple ones. Uh, twin 152 is still probably best in slot. Uh, suicide bomber defense guns, but... Nowadays, that's not really a problem. It was only a problem in uh, World t 10, I believe, where they were summoning like a billion suicide bombers at you. Um, these anti airs are. are <clears throat> these, um, these auxiliary guns are best in slot for World 10, I'd say. So once you're done with World 10, you don't really need these anymore. But if you want to use them, go ahead. They're not terrible at all. Now, some people really like the purple t uh, 410s. Uh, I rarely use them. I mean, they're still good, but I rarely, really use these because I either use the hood gun or I use the uh, the purple 410, uh, 406 right here. If it's not the hood gun, I use this for HE stuff. I really touch these anymore, but if you still like them, go ahead and use them. I personally don't like them anymore, though. I think these are like substitute for shells. You can if you want. If you want to use them, go ahead, but not a fan of those there's a lot of purple gear in here actually i rarely keep my purple gear in here like most of this purple gear i just dump away like this is gone right here these are gone right here i don't use these anymore definitely don't use uh these anymore <laughs> uh these twin forts uh, these 10 cruiser guns are not bad having a few of them around is not bad but a lot of these uh purple gear i throw away blue gear i toss basically everything except Fire, extingu uh, fire extinguishers. I would keep these 100%. Everything else, not really a fan of these. Especially this Ayanami uh, um, gun. Not a fan of that. Just use the gold 410 or whatever. Now, for uh, fleet tech stuff, 5. I thought this would be higher from Kashino, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, 5. I would definitely get this higher, though. Because you get some good stats from it. And it applies to all your ships, too. So, definitely would consider that. Uh, Royal Navy level 5. I would get this high for battleship stuff, but you don't have to if you don't want to. A lot of IJN stuff. That's, that's, that USS is very low, surprisingly, because USS naturally goes up because there's so many USS ships in this game, but not as high as IJN, apparently, for this person. Uh, Iron Blood. Iron Blood is actually pretty easy to get to level 4, too. Like, Iron Blood and USS are very easy to get to level ups. It's just... This person likes IJN more, so I can't blame them that on that part. All right, now we got uh, research stuff. Uh, Monarch and Ibuki are already developer thirty. Very nice. I think this person plans on going back to it eventually. Um, they're still lagging behind on some PR stuff, which is fine. Uh, but I definitely say after when PR four drops, definitely go back to PR one, finish off. But you don't have to. You don't want to. If you want specific ships, then go for it. But I would definitely go back to um, PR1 if you, if you want the um, finish all these. Uh, PR2, uh, how are we doing here? Is this... Okay, Georgia's not, <laughs> Georgia's not unlocked yet, but that's fine. Everything else, though, looks pretty standard. Not terrible progression. You could probably finish this in, like, less than... um. If you kept at it, probably, like, less than two or three months, but... It's up to the person to on whether how hard they want to go with researches, but three months should be more than enough to finish this. Uh, PR three, where are we at right now? All right, Cheshire is already developer thirty. Very nice. Uh, about two hundred away from the other ones, and then Drake needs about I think. How much does Drake need right here? I think Drake needs about probably like three hundred and fifty or something around there. Still ways to go, but this I think I say if you if you want to be really consistent with this, you could probably finish all these researches in probably like I don't know seven months or so. Not bad. Dorm food. Oh well, we don't have to talk about this right here. This is <laughs> this is a lot of dorm food. Um, this can last for like easily two months. I'm jealous because I wish I had dorm food. I I never have dorm food because I don't buy dorm food. <laughs> all of my dorm food comes from buying it. Or freebies from like shops or giveaways and stuff. I don't I don't buy um dorm food. I wish I had dorm food though, but not me. Uh, leveling uh some good choices. Vanguards again, guys. If you guys don't know already, I highly recommend if you guys use the training thing right here for dorms. Vanguards highest priority because vanguards are more 
um, annoying and takes longer to level up compared to back lines. So definitely, if possible, um, dorm your vanguards and then level up the uh, back line or what, like, and use one one setups or whatever in a uh, regular gameplay. But definitely train vanguards more because there's gonna be situations like Operation Siren where people are gonna have like 80% back lines at 120 and like 20% vanguard at 120 is gonna be a a weird weird uh, discrepancy. So watch for that. Uh, norm a 460 my happiness that's nearly free to play max free to play max right now is 468 so that's very very close uh, dorm stuff all right cat stuff this is gonna be fun right here um let's see 14 20 16 22 15 15 this is a good split this is a good mod check <laughs> nice cat name chapter 14 cat lol good one it's not gonna be carriers by the way i'm like very confident it's not gonna be carrier um related um but yeah not bad not bad splits let's see skills right here um this ida weiss is not bad you have 24 um torpedoes this last slot's kind of bad but whatever it's a purple cat don't go too heavy on those um good um good oscar very good i would max uh i would definitely get um Level three, the level three gives a little boost to firepower, I believe, or something like that. So definitely work on getting level three. Um, steel, <clears throat> uh, good. If you're using IJN, definitely a good cat right here. Uh, level three on that, very nice. Uh, this cat right here, I'm not big fan of. I mean, if you're gonna use battleships with heavy cruisers, then go ahead. But again, I told you guys, if this, if a cat specializes in something, you want to roll talents around that. So Takemaru is a as a cruiser cat you want cruiser lines not battleship lines because obviously if you're using takimaru you're going to have a lot of cruisers right so if you have a lot of cruisers you want more cruiser lines get it level two on that definitely keep that level two don't put that level three i'd say all right um bishamaru very nice cat uh actually no no <laughs> no actually that's for serenity not bad asw keck w um but not bad there's 34 aviation you can get something rolling with that max out level three very nice as well this that last skill for uh bishamaru is very good by the way uh if you have a good one definitely consider getting level three asap it's very this is a good, really good skill uh lime firepower fire firepower pretty basic 32 fire 32 firepower not terrible um i would definitely wait to level three that though but hold off on that this is a usable cat but i wouldn't like heavy invest into it chapter 13 is done i assume this person is missing uh chokai but no problem i'm missed i'm not even 100 percent done with my 13 4 so can't say anything about that uh we're good, we're good, pro ugh, good progression 77.5 percent collection not bad i assume this person is not like a day one or whatever but i assume it's not bad don't know if this person missed anything but definitely not bad at all some people want collection at 100%. Some people don't. Understandable. Four slots on training. I'm jealous. I don't have that. And then medals. Medals aren't terrible. Any uh, tier two, tier ones though? Tier one. I, I seem tier one IJN. Working on other tier ones. Good luck with that, by the way. You're very close on the uh, um, Royal Navy <laughs> IJN. It's like two out of 12 right here. Uh-oh. USS six out of 12, but. That, that's optional don't worry about that stuff and then all the oaf ships more than what i have more than what i have i have like 20 not even 20 probably like 16 or 18 oaf ships feels poor man gear skins fleets pvp i guess i don't know i don't pvp too much i don't know if this setup is actually good anymore because of that new pvp setups but this person was a former uh, Admiral of the Navy, so more than me, more PvP experience than me. So that is the first review done. Hope, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I may do this weekly. I'm not sure. It depends on how it goes. I have people sending me um, albums, and I can look through them. So maybe. Anyways, that's the first one. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys in the next one. Also, oh, this person has a question for me. Oh, it's crap. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Uh, uh, okay, outside of initial thoughts, 
and opinions. Uh, what would you use for OS? Okay, OS. Uh, OS, I would use. So OS is very, very. It's not super, super compli complicated. How OS works nowadays, you just need one very, very good, um, very, very good uh, mob fleet. So in this case, Perseus is basically core. Perseus, I've, I've talked about her many, many times. She stays there. Very, very solid. So a good setup for mob fleet is Perseus with a lot of wave clear and high damage vanguards. So my setup for my mob fleet is um, FDG Alabama. Perseus, Drake, London, and St. Louis, very, very high damage. And it's the same comes from Perseus. So in this case, I would go something with Perseus, obviously. Um, let's see here. I would do 120 shift stuff for OS. Let's say you're doing Simon Stronghold. Um, maybe Tosa. Tosa wouldn't be a super super terrible choice fdg is not bad either but i would definitely get her developer 31st uh so maybe tosa oh rosia could work too rosia tosa could work and then some damage vanguards i don't know who are good ones um what do you got right now but you need a really good mob fleet though uh reno no you kind of need anti air for that so I don't know. Some kind of DPS Vanguard. <laughs> what we got here? What we got here? Um, Vanguards, Vanguards, Vanguards. Chappie is pretty good. You can put Chappie, uh, maybe Zara. Chappie, Zara. And maybe al Allergies. But Allergies needs to be uh, French, though. So probably not. Definitely work on, work on more, though. Oh, Prince could work. Prince, uh, Chappie, and Zara could work, I guess. But that's like three heavy cruisers. I'm trying to... Or, uh, there's like three cruisers right there. I would definitely get more damage. Maybe Hermione when she's 120, but she's not 120 right now though. Uh, definitely consider those. Uh, mob fleet though, definitely high DPS. And then once you have your mob fleet done, you just get three boss fleets that covers everything. So for my for my setup generally is one mob, one boss, one or one boss BB, one boss carrier, and then one boss cleanup. So in this case. Get one with carrier setup like Shinano, Enterprise, and SX, I guess, for your carriers. Or for, or Centaur, no, no. Shinano, for me, Centaur could work here. Definitely these three could work right here for a uh, carrier setup with Sirius for amplification whatnot. Uh, and then throw in whatever you want after that. And then a BB setup could be like, I don't know, Nagato, um, Duke of York. Maybe a Moggy, but a Moggy's damage is kind of like, eh, whatever. Richelieu could work too. Richelieu, uh, that could be one fleet right there. But then your, your fourth fleet, there needs to be more variety. So definitely work on getting a fourth fleet because I can easily see that you can make a good three fleets. But after that, the fourth one is going to be kind of messy. So definitely open up your variety of ships and you can play around with options more. But it takes... I know it takes a while to get 120 ships, so thank, we got, thank God we got full auto. So definitely work on getting more 120 ships. Uh, specifically Vanguards. Vanguards is one of these things that a lot of people lack on. Definitely work on getting 120 Vanguards more. All right, done. Review is done. Oh, my God. Okay, that was the person's question. I'm done. Enjoy the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.